Hi guys, and welcome to an actual art video from Blue Bunny Muse for a change. I'm here with my friend Little Paracosm today. This is her art stationery bag and I just love it so much, I had to show it off. So today we're going to be doing a still life prompt that is issued weekly by an Instagram page called Still Life Still Here. Here's some examples of what some other people have done for this week's prompt, which is a photograph of a delicious plate of breakfast. I have attached the page's name in case you're interested. So today's objective is purely just to have fun. I'm going to be using some oil pastels that I've been gifted that I've just never used. They are two different brands, so we'll see how it goes. And no art day is complete without snacks, of course. Here is a sneak peek inside of Little Paracosm's art sketchbook. And if you haven't checked it out before, I definitely recommend you do. Here is her Instagram and her TikTok handles. I'm keen to try these because of their pointed ends. It makes me feel like they might be easier to handle, but we will see. And here we go. Here are our blank pages before we start the challenge. So I really want this piece to be free and fun. So I am just roughly plotting out the placement of things. I'm not drawing anything exactly. I might just be drawing like a circle for the placement of the plate, but not the food on the plate itself. And not that you'll be able to see, but that is the rough placement I've done. And little paracosm is essentially doing the same. So today is really supposed to just be a loose and fun art day. We weren't even originally going to record, but we decided to make a little something out of it since we would be arting anyways. So I'm getting used to and learning about these oil pastels as I'm going. So it's kind of a trial and error in progress, but that's fun because this is all just for fun at the end of the day. And here is a little progress shot on little Paracosm's side. She is truly working like a beast and just enjoying it. At this point, I'm questioning if this even looks like bacon. So the tips of these oil pastels are wearing down pretty quickly, which means I do have less defined control. As well as the fact that these oil pastels, or at least this particular brand, seems to be pretty translucent. I think it was just a happy accident that I decided to draw on brown cardboard as it served as a really good undertone. So you'll see me tackling the beans here. As I worked, I decided that all my shadows were going to have a touch of blue in them. And a little paracosm is painting on a pink pastel background. It is so satisfying to watch. So you'll see as I start the sausages, they look very odd and quite often I was questioning if I was doing the right thing. I think it's good to just trust the process. Every artist will know that your work will go through a bit of an awkward stage that it will need to get through. The last time I used pastels, I'm pretty sure it must have been in primary school, so this was an absolute blast to get to play around with again. I must say I did enjoy how easily the oil pastels blended together. The original brand I was using, the brand that you see now, as I mentioned is quite translucent, but I ended up using the white as almost a blender or a mixer when I needed to mix two different oil pastel colors together. It might be worth mentioning that the oil pastel crayons themselves would pick up colors from the other oils that were already placed on the page. So we did have a scrap page on the side that we would use to scribble and get the color off of the tip before dabbing it into a new color. You'll see at the stage that little paracosm is already complete with this work. She used oil pastels as well as some paint. Believe it or not, this is the beginning of an apple. And here you'll see the complete apple. I couldn't film the entire process as I did need my phone as reference to look at the photo. 
so by this point I could only film little pieces in between. Did I mention this video also features Leia the pug? I am pet sitting for some friends at the moment so she was keeping us company. I think I definitely got carried away with this project when I started it I really wanted it to be loose and free and to be expressionist but uh, I landed up taking a slightly more realistic route and it took me much longer than expected and I'm so happy to be reaching the end of this. Here you'll see our two final results next to each other. We took two completely different routes and styles and I really love how it turned out in the end. Thank you so much for watching this video and if there's anything you'd like to see from Blue Bunny Muse in the future, please let me know in the comments. Wherever you are and whoever you are, may you have an amazing day further.